this video, I am going to talk to you a little bit about how I failed my Catalea type orchids and what I had to do to fix it. So here we go. Jumping on in. Grab your cup of something something and let's get going. I am in the editing mode, so I do not know where I'll put this segment in the video. Maybe at the beginning. Hey! Hello, welcome to the last day of this year, 2021, the video that I have created, the footage I took last couple of days ago. So it is not uh, made this day, this moment, but I did want to show you this beauty that you all failed to help me name. You know, I did ask in the last video, can you help me name her? So she is officially named cherry blossom because she reminds me of the cherry blossom flowers that are white and pink that bud out um so that's what i named her cherry blossom for my no id phalaenopsis now she has opened the last bud here this morning it'll pop open some more later today and i can officially move her downstairs to the living room where we spend most of our time and i will be able to enjoy her but I don't like to move them out of their orchid room position until the last bud has popped open. Because as I learned with Pink Sonia, uh, she blasted all of the buds except for the one that opened underneath the Mars light. So I just wanted to say it is the end of the year and I am very thankful for all of you. I'm thankful that we have made it through this year. You know, I'm ending the year kind of the same way I started with feeling like crap Ola, that would be a capital S H, uh, crap Ola. And anywho, anyhow, anyway, in a long story short, I'm still standing upright because life will knock you down over and over and over again. And you go to bed at night and you might cry because of the situation. You might weep, you might be mad, you might be angry, but you get a chance to wake up. And do it all over again, which is the nature of my title uh, of the channel. Michelle's life on repeat because every night I may go to sleep and wake up with a brand new morning. But I get a chance to repeat looking for the joy. I get a chance to repeat looking for the good. I get a chance to repeat some of the crappy things that happened the day before. But I know I'll survive them because I survived yesterday. And to be honest with you... We all have a 100% success rate of surviving the crappiest of days because we are still here today. So uh, with Michelle's life on repeat, I hope and I pray that 2022 is a whole lot better, a whole lot less migraines, a whole lot less uh, unknown. It has been a hard year. I don't know. Um, I've never shared with y'all all of the stuff about my life because, you know, that's what keeps us a little more private from Facebook. <laughs> um, it has been a hard year. We as a family have been circling and circling and circling in that airplane waiting for the ground to say, uh, we have a gate open for you. Go ahead and come in. Uh, no, we, we just keep circling and circling and circling. And some of you know what exactly I am talking about, but it has been a hard year. And I am kind of stretched. As tight as that rubber band will stretch before it goes ting. <laughs> so I am asking for the good Lord's grace that I don't ting and spew out all over everyone the ugliness that comes with um, unsettledness. And so I hope 2022 brings us a little settling in. If you know what I mean, then you do. If you don't know what I mean, then I am glad that you have a very settled life. But orchids, like I say, are my distraction from all the pain, from all the frustration, from all of the unsettledness that I have no control over. And so I am thankful when I look down at these orchids, they just scream beauty. They scream, they scream to me that a creator exists who created such beauty and he knows exactly what he's doing with my life, even though I don't have a clue. 
So as I am watering my orchids, I have my music blaring it, and I am listening to Toby Mac. If you have never heard of him, he's a Christian artist that is fabulous at um, hitting my heart. And this song is so totally the end of the year and going into the new year when I told you how I feel. He says, I lace the boots up, it's straight to the door, because this is worth fighting for. I get my head right, and the heart's got to follow. Whisper a prayer like there ain't no tomorrow. Take a breath and I exhale slow. I wasn't made for this kind of cold. This ain't the kind of place that you want to know. There are These are the elements I'm telling you, bro. This world is up in my grill. This world is shooting to kill. The world always got to be still in my heart. This world is always trying to rip my family apart but I'll fight the elements. I got spirit, I got faith. I might bend, but I won't break. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. That is so what I'm talking about. So let's rock in to the new year, fighting, fighting for it all, fighting for our health, fighting for our families, fighting for our lives, fighting to just survive. So enjoy this video today. It is about how not to care for your Catalea orchids. This weekend I was watering everything and I love to on my Saturday or my Sunday uh, touch every plant and see how things are going. And I touched one of my Catalea plants that I had put in LECA and I promised myself and I wrote notes on the plant, don't over water. And I thought, mm, yeah, that's pretty good. I've been doing that. But then I remembered every once in a while I walk by and those top pebbles of Lekka look dry. So I splash a little water, then splash a little bit more, and then splash a little bit more. And if you are like me, who always thinks your plants are thirsty, well, you end up rotting the roots. So I peaked because I have these beautiful roots but they weren't going down into the LECA. They were going out from it. And I thought, I wonder why they're not going down in it. And I pulled back the LECA and lo and behold, I had dead, dead, dead. And I mean dead, 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 completely gone roots. So she came out of the LECA, but do you see those are all her new roots? And that's what I saw on top of the LECA. And then I brushed back and from here to here, we're talking a whole bunch of soggy old roots and you think I would learn my lesson. So I, I learned enough to know that I will not put a Catalea type orchid in full LECA with a wicking stick of water so uh, it can suck up its own water. I will not do that in my orchid room here in the Pacific Northwest anymore. You think I would have learned the lesson a while ago, like back in 2018 when I killed everything, or 2019 when I was trying to rebuild everything? Now here it is, the end of 2022, and I still think that Catalea types need water, 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 when in fact they don't, they don't, they don't. They need water, and then they like to dry out, and then they want to search for the water and reach their roots out for it. They don't want to sit in a constant bath marinating in that water. So there we have it. This is a SLC. So she is a Sophrolalia catalea, possibly the S. I'm not certain what that is. Coastal Sunrise. So SLC, Coastal Sunrise, Tropico. And she has been in multiple settings. She came in a pot, most likely with moss or dirt, moved on to some sort of potty mix that was probably bark and perlite. Then I thought, oh, she's doing so well. I'll put her in Lekka and I won't have to water her as much. You know, they'll just take care of themselves. But for me, that does not work in my environment. So this is probably her third or fourth time that she has been repositioned, but I'm watering her daily, no moss whatsoever on the rest of the dead roots in hopes that she will cling to the, the, um, wood fiber. What are we looking at here? 
<laughs> migraine brain. We're looking at a bark and it's not coming to me. I know you're all shouting the answer out. Here's the answer, the answer. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had a migraine start last night with the snow falling and so mm -hmm, migraine brain is halfway here. Needless to say, I water her cork bark. That's it, cork bark. So anywho and anyhow, today I'm gonna give her a good drink, hang her back up, but here's the other one that I quickly ran to and I said, ah, she has this gorgeous root across the top and she did in the Lekka too. And I thought, why isn't that root going down? Same thing, same questions. If you find yourself asking the same questions to your orchids and they're giving you the same answer, I don't like my media, I don't like my media, it's time to change her. So I quickly took her out of Lekka. She had a few more savable roots put her in a full bark because I didn't have any more mounts. And now because this, this is brand new spanking media, I think it's, it's a mix between the one from Josh's Frogs. Um, it's got the dolomite on it. It's a larger piece and Orchiata bark. You dip it in the water, you bring it up and it looks wet, but it's, it doesn't get wet all the way through. So she needs a watering every day until I can be assured that those are getting enough water. You know me, overwatering queen, but check on your Catalea types. If all the roots are not going down into the media, but going up and out and somewhere else, it may not like the media it's in. Let me give her a drink and we will keep on keeping on on this beautiful snowy day in the Pacific Northwest. If you're wondering what media I use and where I get it from, there's an Amazon affiliate link in the description box that shows where I purchase these from. These mounts, these uh, bark, pieces, the pumice stones, and all of that. If you're curious, that is where you can find that. Thanks for visiting with me today. Until we talk again, bye-bye. Hello, orchid friends. Yes, that is snow in my backyard trees. Woohoo! Woohoo!